right, all right, Swamiji, you are funny logic, but we have to admit it because we are intelligent people, scientific minded. Okay, the food has come in front of me. Swamiji, there afterwards, it's not Nara and I eating, it is I who am eating. Are you? Are you capable of it? Without His grace, can you? Even when you are lifting the food, eh? honest eating is with the hand. But if your hand is so dirty and you are allergic to washing the hand with a spoon, with a spoon, how will you lift the spoon and the food if there is no Narayana in your hand? If life is not in the hand, partial paralysis. Can you do that? A dead man, can he eat? Again the Lord. And manifest. Because unless you have got the vision, you can't see it. You take it for granted that the hands are doing it. But hands cannot do it without His grace. With the help of the hand, you lift it. The spoon with the foot. And by the time it comes, your mouth is already open. You put the spoon and the foot into the mouth. Close the mouth and the spoon alone comes out. Food is inside. Ah! After Samji, it is not I eating. No. You are not capable. How many muscles in your mouth must function to munch that food and mastigate it properly? Can it be done without birth, without life? Once your life is gone, do you know that even one drop of Ganges water will not go in? Early heard. The Lord is necessary to. After munching, Swamiji, am I not swallowing? No! You cannot swallow. The arrangement in your throat is such that the windpipe is first and then esophagus. The food pipe. So the food to reach the stomach, it has to reach the food pipe, the esophagus, and the esophagus lies beyond the windpipe. And if even an iota of the food goes by the wrong hole. <laughs> you are in a convulsion of coughing to remove it. How much of a mountain of food you have already eaten, every one of you? Add up your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. And whatever you eat in between, cookies, kikis, kakis, and all that, <laughs> add them up, and this is all one day's share. Like that, 365 days, one year share. And like that, 30, 40 years. Do you know that? The size, the quantum that has gone in. <laughs> and it definitely can be, it can be assured that not a bit went by the wrong way till now, because you are still living. Why? There is an epiglottis there, which closes and the food walks along the bridge, over the bridge to the mouth, stomach, to the, yes, to the food pipe. Are you conscious that there is an epiglottis? Do you cover it? The <laughs> Lord says, you are incapable of it, O oh man. You are not efficient to do that. You don't worry. You swallow food, I will close it at the right time. <laughs> he is, by His grace, you close it. The food comes to the esophagus. Now, esophagus and the stomach and the intestines, it is one tube to the mouth to the anus, one tube. It 
any amount of cart loads of food has gone in without any effort how the peristaltic movement the food pipe constantly is waving so that when one ball of rice is gone it is held and then it is squeezed out and brought into the stomach by load squeeze not yours one way traffic unless you are a professional drunkard to them it is two way traffic 